drunk that with a jar of Miracle Whip and chicken, you could create this delicious dish. Miracle Whip salad dressing is so versatile that it can cook, blend, bake, and whip up hundreds of delicious good things to eat. And Limelight Chicken and Galila is just one of them. Who'd have thunk it? Hey guys, Beautiful Tangled Mess here once again, bringing you another episode of Live Free Dine Hot. The Vintage Edition, episode three. So before I begin making the delicious, wonderful recipe that I have for everybody today, I want to give a special shout out to all of the amazing feedback that I've been getting on this series from YouTube and other social medias. You guys seem to like this a lot and I'm really, really, really happy. And we have a viewer in Australia that gave me a shout out today. So thank you so much for watching. Keep those comments coming. I love hearing back from you guys and I'm so glad you're enjoying my weird, crazy, quirky personality that ain't ever gonna change. Today we are going to be making something called Limelight Chicken en Galette. And it looks like this. Do you see? Do you see? It looks like that. They look like little potatoes, but they are not. It's chicken. Oh, and I just spit everywhere. My bad. I'm just gonna call it Galette. Cause it has a little apostrophe over one of the E's, so gala, gala. Oh, Geely or something. It's G E L. Geely. I. But it has like an apostrophe at the jelly. top. Jelly. Jelly. Oh. <laughs> Is that how they spelled jelly back then? No. I think it's jelly. Chicken jelly. Lime like chicken un jelly. Oh, why is it called? Oh, it's French. It says in right here. So chicken and jelly. Yeah. Oh, I am not French, so I did not know. This recipe may taste good, actually. I, I'm not quite sure. Let's get started with this recipe. The first thing we're gonna need is chicken. And it says here that it's supposed to be shaped into ovals. So, so instead of doing six chicken breastuses, we're only doing three because I know that we're not gonna eat all of them because I don't know how well this recipe is going to go. I have already tried to shape the three pieces of chicken into ovals, so hopefully that's good enough. Two packets of unflavored gelatin, and I honestly do not know why people back in the 70s loved using gelatin in every dish that they did. Two cups of chicken bouillon, but because we're in modern days, again, I just decided to get regular chicken broth because I didn't feel like cooking squares of chicken bouillon. Two thirds cup of water, which I have right here. Two thirds cup. Two cups of Miracle Whip. Look at that. The Kraft brand of Miracle Whip is still in business, so congratulations on a well done product. So the first thing we're gonna do after we shape the breasts into ovals is we need to put them in the frying pan and let them, oh, I am a ninja. Put them in the frying pan and then we are gonna pour in the chicken broth, bring it to a boil, and then cover and simmer it for 15 to 20 minutes. Ew, you know what it looks like? It looks like an elephant's trunk. <laughs> I don't know why, but it... <laughs> I swear this is chicken. This is not elephant trunk that we're cooking. It's like the lines. Like, you know how they have the little wrinkles? It looks like pieces of elephant. I'm not cooking elephant. No elephants were harmed in the making of this video. Okay, so I placed them in the frying pan. I need to add the bouillon. Oh my god. <laughs> that made me have to go to the bathroom. What is in there? Eww. I didn't clean the pan out very <laughs> well. Oh well, it will add flavor. <laughs> okay, so it is not max. And now we have to wait for the water to boil. And then we gotta put the cover on it. And then we gotta let it cook for 15 minutes. All right, it is starting to boil. So what I'm going to do now, uh, what I'm gonna do now is I need to cover it and let it simmer. I'm gonna set my timer for 10 minutes. I'm going to baste it a little bit and then do it for another 10 minutes. And then we will start on with the next adventure of this interesting looking recipe. Anchovies. You smell it? <laughs> <laughs> look at that, the, no, that looks good. Doesn't that look like an elephant's trunk though? It, now, well, that one kind of looks like a chimichanga. Ah, oh, they look like burritos. That's what they look like. 
The next thing we're gonna do is put them on a wire rack that has like a pan drippy thing so that they can drip dry according to the recipe. So that's why I have this. Dry thoroughly. Okay. So now we are going to make the gelatin top that goes on top of the chicken. Ow, hot. Now we're gonna make that gelatin mix, the gelatin mix. Mm, mm, mm. We have to soften the gelatin in water. So gelatin is here. Soften the gelatin in water. Cold water goes in here. And then we're gonna take the gelatin mix. <laughs> in the water, everybody, and let it soften. Ew. Mm. Stir over low heat. There we go. I'm gonna slowly pour the Miracle Whip into the gelatin mix. Come on, baby, dissolve. We're dissolving Miracle Whip into Jello. I'm sorry, what? Dissolve, man. Is this even on? Dissolve, I need it to be clear. So that's mixed in here. <laughs> We go, everybody. We got the thing in the back. We got the mother of the pan. Ploppity plop. Ploppity plop. That doesn't look right. I can't even like show you very well. It's just clumpy. The clear gelatin itself stinks. So I'm trying not to smell it, but it's just I don't like melted Miracle Whip. Ew. It's. <laughs> for some ASMR. Now guys, we're gonna be making Miracle Whip Jello. <laughs> Here's the last of the Miracle Whip. I am going to finish dissolving and mixing this Miracle Whip in with the gelatin. And then it says to let it stand for three to four minutes and then I have to quickly pour it over the chicken. They're like little cakes or something. And then I have to chill the chicken for three to four minutes and then pour another amount on the chicken again. There's so many steps. That, how do these 70s people do this? Like, why don't you just put the chicken in the freaking oven and just cook it, dude? Like, why do you have to make it so complicated with jello? That's what I don't understand. <laughs> Excuse me. Who's ready for the let's go on the chicken? Ready, set, go, we pour. Oh. Okay. Ready, set, go. Oh, that one worked out. Ready, set, go. Okay. 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 I can do that on cakes now. I don't know what to think about this. See, that's the thing about this. I don't know if it's supposed to be a warm recipe or if it's supposed to be a cold recipe. We are now gonna put the second round of glaze on it. Oh, I'm so ready for culinary school. We're gonna let this chill for another three to four minutes. I'm gonna get everything set up and we're gonna do a taste test in just a few minutes, okay? Okay. I am now about to present to you <laughs> the dish that we have made. Ta-da! <laughs> chicken on galette which is chicken in jelly. It looks disgusting. They look like burritos covered in queso. You know what's interesting is they don't really have a smell. This is my friend Paisley. She's awesome and she loves everything that I love and we're both big South Park fans so I'm so thankful that you're here with me today. I'm glad to be here, thank you. Yay! Do you think I did good? Do <laughs> you think I nailed it? One loyal, one for me. Uh, oh, it's moist. Well, oh, that's, oh, I ripped mine. I mean, the chicken part smells good. Oh, yeah, it does, actually. Okay, this one actually smells good because chicken and Miracle Whip slash mayonnaise kind of go together. Live free, dine hard, everybody. Cheers. Okay. It's good. It's not bad. Mm. Okay, I like this recipe. I'm gonna eat some more. 
I think that with a little modifications, this would actually be a good dish. And the weird thing is, I don't know if this recipe is supposed to be cold chicken or warm chicken, because if I keep it warm, then the gelatin mixture isn't gonna harden. Honestly, I'm really surprised and satisfied with this dish. The yeah, I like this. I just think it needs more salt and, and seasoning and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, put like some salt on it, salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Oh, what if you grilled the chicken instead oh. of baking it? And then you put the the Merrick Whip on top as you're grilling it. Mm. That actually might be good. We were gonna go get pizza, but I think we're just gonna eat this. Thumbs up for this recipe. I'm gonna leave a link to the recipe in the description of this video. And if you try it, please send me a picture either on my Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook and hashtag it live free, dine hard. Thank you so much for watching this amazing episode. And thank you so much for all the amazing support that I'm getting around the world for this series and for my channel in general. It means so much to me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have any other suggestions for other foods that you want me to try, any challenges that you want me to try, and don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you can get updates on when I'm putting out new videos. If we get to a thousand subscribers, I will do a burping challenge again, so keep that in mind. I will leave the links to all my social media in the description of this video as well. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, all that good jazz. So thank you so much for tuning into this Lit Free Dine Hard episode on Beautiful Tangled Mess. Always remember guys, life is a beautiful tangled mess and it is our job to make the most of what we have been dealt with in life and make it the best time of our lives. You guys are awesome and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys! Bye, 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 bye. Ow, I just popped my back!